What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another tutorial. And before we get started, I want to say if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I upload some more heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my method of shading, how I learned how to shade. And let's jump right into it. First thing you want to do, man, you want to download a lot of pictures and really study it. Study how the light hits and how the shade react to where the light hitting at. So on this picture, I can just tell that the light is coming heavy from the top because the shadow is underneath him. As you can see, like it's under his eyebrows, under his nose, like just look at just look at regular pictures and study it okay he got a strong shadow under his eyebrow under his nose nose <laughs> under his lips on his chin and just and just go through okay on this two-part picture it's strongly hitting from the right side and the light is heavily coming from the left see this heavy shadow right here like so after you study all the pictures that you you downloaded and you just figure out how the light and the shadow is reacting to the light when you working on your picture try to try to imagine the same thing like decide where you want the light what direction you want the light to hit and make sure the shadow is on the opposite side so if the light is hitting from the top, the shadow going to be underneath. If it's hitting from the bottom, you know, the shadow will be up top. If it's if it's hitting from the left, if it's hitting from the left side, shadow will be on the right. If the light hitting from the right side, the shadow will be hitting on the left. Like right here, let's see. Okay. The light is hitting strongly on the left side. So the shadow is hitting even stronger on the right side. And the farther you go away from the light, you will have more shadow. See? And the shadow kind of give it a depth of feel, like a 3D dimension. It, it, lets you, it lets you know what shape you're dealing with. Like without shadow and shading, this picture will be flat. It'll just it'll just be line work. But when it have the different shades and the tone, it shapes the figure. So see this Rick Ross picture. Shadow coming strongly from the left side. Light is hitting from the center. It's kind of some shade. Some shadow on the right. Strongly on his chin. And I really just go through pictures and I, I study them. Okay. This one, same thing. Shadows coming strong from the left side. Light is kind of in the center, like, but it's more to the right. You got more shadow over here. I'm just get something up. We gonna just make up a song from, from what we seen and just try to guess what a shadow would be. Do a quick little sketch. See, let me see. I'm a talent tripping. So now I'm deciding by what we just what I just showed you guys with the, the pictures. I want my shadow to come strong from the left side. So let me just pick this and use a gray. 
make sure when you finish with your line work you go ahead and lock that layer keep it at the top and create a new layer underneath just for your shading and every time you go a tone darker or a tone lighter create new layers just for that one color Did our darkest shade now we're gonna do one more shade that's gonna go under the dark shadow just to give it more depth depth of feel 